The visiting Guinea-Bissau President Jose Mario Vaz was received by President Muhammadu Buhari upon arrival at the forecourt of the presidential villa. After introducing him to his team of ministers and aides, both presidents proceeded into a brief closed-door meeting. When both presidents returned to face the media, it was the visiting president who addressed journalists. Speaking in Portuguese through an interpreter, President Mario Vaz says he was at the presidential villa to thank Nigeria for its big brother role in his country's democracy and preparation for elections. O President Buhari, as uh, you will be aware of, the international community will be aware of, uh, Guinea-Bissau was scheduled to hold elections on the, on the 18th of November. But uh, we uh, came to the conclusion that it won't be possible. That's why, that's the reason why I came to see my older brother, so that I can seek his uh, advice and brief him about the situation. I'm going back home very much encouraged by the forceful uh, and, and, uh, and the way I was uh, given some very important advice because uh, Nigeria has been uh, a great supporter of the process in Guinea-Bissau, the voter registration process going on. I can tell you that I took the engagement before the president that all the advices I got from him will be applied fully. Since the ousting of his first prime minister, Louis Cabral, on November 14, 1980, Guinea-Bissau had experienced several coup d'etat that shook the country with a population of 1.78 million persons. With nations like Guinea-Bissau and some others in the African continent looking up to Nigeria to get their election and political process right, political analysts believe that Nigeria must do all it can to ensure it conducts a free fair and credible election come 2019 if it's hope to retain its integrity in the League of Nations. From the Asura Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.